reasonable person standard. In the realm of personal injury law, the concept of the reasonable person standard holds significant weight. Often, personal injury cases hinge on the notion of negligence, where an individual or entity fails to exercise the expected level of care. The reasonable person standard serves as a benchmark, delineating the acceptable actions and behaviors expected from a prudent individual. Falling short of this standard may result in liability for any injuries sustained by the affected party. If you sustained injuries in an accident in Colorado, contact our experienced Denver personal injury attorneys today to schedule your free consultation. Our experienced legal team are knowledgeable and zealous advocates for our clients and their cases. We treat our clients as people, not case files. Learn more about how we can help you pursue compensation for your injuries and damages. Exploring the Reasonable Person Standard The Reasonable Person Standard, a cornerstone of personal injury law, serves to gauge the rationality of an individual's actions. It functions as an objective measure, evaluating whether a person exercised a reasonable degree of care given the circumstances. Typically invoked in cases of negligence, this standard assesses whether the defendant's conduct aligns with what a reasonable person would do under similar circumstances. Burden of Proof and Negligence In tort lawsuits, particularly those alleging negligence, the burden of proof lies with the plaintiff. It's incumbent upon the plaintiff to demonstrate that the defendant owed a duty of care and breached this obligation, resulting in the injury in question. Central to proving negligence is measuring the defendant's actions against the reasonable person standard. The pivotal question revolves around whether the defendant's behavior deviates from what a reasonable individual would do in a comparable situation. The application of the reasonable person standard is context-sensitive, taking into account various factors unique to each case. Circumstantial elements, such as the nature of the activity, the relationship between parties, their respective knowledge and experience, and foreseeable risks, influence what constitutes reasonable conduct. Thus, what may be deemed reasonable in one scenario might differ in another based on these nuanced considerations. Exceptions to the standard While the reasonable person standard predominates in negligence-based claims, it's not universal across all personal injury cases. Instances involving strict product liability, where harm results from a defective product, sidestep the need to prove negligence. Similarly, situations involving defendants with mental illnesses or cognitive disabilities may warrant exceptions to the standard, as their capacity to meet conventional expectations may be compromised. Specialized Professions and Elevated Standards In cases involving individuals with specialized skills or professionals operating within their field, the reasonable person standard undergoes adjustments. Healthcare practitioners, for instance, are held to elevated standards due to their extensive training and expertise. In medical malpractice suits, their actions are benchmarked against those of peers with similar qualifications, reflecting the heightened expectations associated with their profession. Conclusion The reasonable person standard serves as a cornerstone in navigating the complexities of personal injury law. While it provides a framework for assessing liability in negligence cases, its application varies depending on the intricacies of each situation. By considering contextual nuances and exceptions, the legal system strives to uphold fairness and accountability in adjudicating claims of personal injury. FAQs, Frequently Asked Questions What is the reasonable person standard? The reasonable person standard is a legal doctrine that evaluates an individual's conduct by comparing it to what a hypothetical reasonable person would do under similar circumstances. How does the reasonable person standard impact personal injury cases? In personal injury cases, the reasonable person standard helps determine whether a defendant's actions meet the expected level of care to prevent harm to others, thus influencing liability. Are there any exceptions to the reasonable person standard? While the standard is generally applied uniformly, courts may consider specific circumstances and factors unique to each case when assessing reasonableness. What role does expert testimony play in evaluating reasonableness? Expert testimony from professionals such as accident reconstruction specialists or medical experts can provide valuable insights into what a reasonable person would have done in similar situations. How does the reasonable person standard promote fairness in legal decisions? By establishing an objective benchmark for assessing conduct, the reasonable person standard helps ensure fairness in assigning fault and responsibility for injuries, 
regardless of individual characteristics or subjective viewpoints.